Hello, my online learners. Let's look at tissue type number four, the nervous system. And we're just going to touch on these type of tissues because we spend a whole unit looking at the nervous system. So I am working from the doc, the word doc called, um, oh, let me shrink myself down here so you can see me. Um, the word document called um, it's the second part of the note sheet. So we're just going to go down here to G, nervous tissue, and we're going to look at two types, neurons and neuroglia. And I'm also taking the information out of the textbook. So the textbook link is there. And when we look at it, it's on neurons and neuroglia or the tissues of the nervous system. Now, the interesting thing about the nervous system is they are electrically excitable, so this way they can pass on information and they can rapidly communicate and their um, neurons are the few cells that actually can communicate. So they will transmit nervous impulses and they're the only ones that can communicate. So the neuron is the cell that transmits the electrical, excitable cell that transmits the electrical signal. And then there is another term called neuroglia. So here it is here, neuroglia. And glia stands for glue. So neuroglia are the cells that support and um, communicate with the neurons. Quick look at a neuron. A neuron, is, this is a typical neuron. It has a cell body with a nucleus in it. It's also called a soma. Then the areas that lead in, or the projection, pro projections that lead in are called dendrites, and the projection that leads out is called an axon. Now those axons can be covered or insulated with two different types of cells, depending if it's in the peripheral nervous system or the central nervous system. If it's in the peripheral nervous system, it's covered by what's called a Schwann cell. And if it's in the central nervous system, it's covered with what's called an oligodendrite cell. And both of them make up the myelinated sheath. So this is a typical neuron structure. Neurons are used for communication. Then there is different types of neuroglia. Now neuroglia is the glue that holds things together. And their job is to um, connect and also nourish. There are four types in the central nervous system and two in the peripheral nervous system. And again, we will go into more detail into that when we go into the nervous system itself. So that's all you need to know for this part.